Betelgeuse, an extremely bright star in the night sky, is notable for its beautiful orange color and for being variable, meaning that its brightness can change over time. In fact, at times, Betelgeuse can become so bright that it rivals even the brightest stars in the sky. There has been speculation about a possible explosion of Betelgeuse and the terrifying consequences this could bring. Join us as we examine the current status of the star. If you're interested in keeping up to date with news from the universe and its surroundings, subscribe to our channel, be sure to like this video and turn on the notification bell. The star Betelgeuse is so colossal that in size, if we were to place it in the sun, its size would be engulfing the orbit of Mars and extend into the asteroid belt. This may be frightening, but keep in mind that Betelgeuse is 642 light years away, making it the closest star to the sun that will eventually end its life in a supernova explosion, according to Neil deGrasse Tyson. It's important to understand that the brightness of a star can vary significantly. For example, Rigel and Aldebaran are two stars that have different brightness levels at their brightest. Aldebaran may be as bright as Rigel, but at its faintest, it may be comparable to lower magnitude stars. This variation in brightness is due to several factors, such as the size of the star, its temperature, and its distance from Earth. Over the past five years or so, a period of choice and difficulty has been observed in the brightness of Betelgeuse. The origin of the word Betelgeuse dates back to the Arabic language. According to scholars, the usage ending is considered to be the most appropriate for the context in which it is used. Betelgeuse is a red supergiant star located in the constellation Orion at a distance of approximately 642.5 light years from Earth. Its remoteness makes it one of the most studied and fascinating stars in the night sky. Thanks to the Hipparchus astrometric satellite, we have obtained valuable information about the distance of celestial bodies, and the distance to this particular star has been determined to be approximately 430 light years. This data helps us to understand the vastness of our universe and the astonishing distances between celestial bodies. Betelgeuse has an apparent magnitude ranging from 0, 0.0 to 1.6, making it a variable star. Alpha Orionis, in its Bayer designation, being the second brightest star in the Orion constellation. At times, Betelgeuse can be even brighter than Rigel due to its unpredictability. In Bayer 1603 publication, Alpha Orionis was given the name Betelgeuse, and Rigel was called Beta Orionis. Betelgeuse is an independent star and is not part of any astronomical group since it's not in a region where new stars form. It is also classified as a runway star. Its radius is approximately 764 times larger than the Sun, and its mass is 16.5 times that of the Sun. Being a red giant, its brightness is about 126,000 times the brightness of the Sun, which is still high when observed from Earth despite its distance of 548 light years. Despite its enormous size, the star is cooler than the Sun, with a surface temperature of only 3,600 Kelvin, compared to the Sun's 57,078 Kelvin. Betelgeuse is approximately 10 million years old, while the Sun is 4.6 billion years old. Despite being significantly younger, Betelgeuse is an evolved star that is likely to experience a supernova explosion at some point, which will have devastating repercussions a few tens of light years away from Earth. A massive supernova explosion can generate an amount of light equivalent to that of an entire galaxy. So if one of our nearby neighbors, such as Alpha Centauri, should decide to have such an event, we should not overlook it. Even if it did not show up as bright as the moon, we will be exposed to intense radiation of all kinds. We have not observed a supernova in our galaxy since 1604, Although one did occur in the Large Magellanic Cloud in 1987, which had a visible effect at a distance of 169,000 light years, supernova remnants such as the object known as G292.0 plus 1.8 are remnants left behind when stars explode. They are of a rare variety with abundant oxygen present. Fortunately, 
the Large Magellanic Cloud is far enough away from our typical danger zone around a supernova. As for Betelgeuse, its actual distance would be about 100 light years. Alpha Centauri would still be within our range, while Betelgeuse would be beyond. In any case, it seems safe to say that we are in no immediate danger of a Betelgeuse explosion. Now, all of this still doesn't answer the most important question. Has Betelgeuse really exploded? The closest red supergiant star to Earth is Betelgeuse. Whether it will eventually explode, when Betelgeuse began to dim significantly in late 2019, causing a big stir around the world, some people thought that the main event was about to happen because of Betelgeuse's unusual brightness decrease. However, so far Betelgeuse has not experienced an explosion. Since that episode, this prominent star in the constellation Orion, known as the Hunter's Right Shoulder, has regained some of its dimmed brightness and appears to be transitioning to a less active condition. Betelgeuse, which emits a very distinct and crimson hue, is easily recognizable, and it is well positioned for observation during the early evening months of each year. Astronomers have come to determine, after examining data collected by NASA's Hubble Space Telescope and other observatories, that this physically supergiant star experienced an explosion in 2019. During the event, Betelgeuse created a huge surface mass ejection and lost part of its visible surface. This behavior, a coronal mass ejection, or CME, occurs frequently on our own sun. In this process, a portion of the sun's delicate outer atmosphere, known as the corona, is blown away by the solar wind. However, the CME produced by Betelgeuse ejected 400 billion times more mass than the average CME, indicating that a cloud of hot gas released by the star temporarily covered some of its light increasing the strange dimming observed. Although some predictions suggest a greater distance, Betelgeuse could be as close as 724 light years from Earth. Determining the exact distances of red supergiants like Betelgeuse remains a challenge for astronomy. Despite its remoteness, Betelgeuse remains one of the brightest stars in the sky, with an inherent brightness about 100,000 times more intense than the Sun. This intense energy accelerates the fuel depletion in Betelgeuse and nears its inevitable end. Thank you so much for watching the video, remember to like and subscribe, and see you in the next one.